with a name like Labists, of course I would go here and wear my coat. Come on! Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Today we're talking about this. This is a gaming kit from Labists and it's been kindly sent to me as I could take a look and share my opinion. Now, uh, initially I hesitated a bit because I'm not a retro gamer. I missed out uh, on a lot of games and I don't really play games that much. However, I was convinced by them and I don't actually regret it but because just look at the presentation. The kit is nicely put together and comes with everything you need to get started with retro gaming. Now, inside the kit you're gonna find and obviously a Raspberry Pi for 4 gig, and at the time of the release that was the strongest Raspberry available. Uh, there is uh, obviously preloaded SD card with RetroArch that you can use to load thousands of emulators, or well, maybe not thousands, but a lot of emulators and downloadable content. This isn't just a pretty box, so let's take a look inside and see what's there. Everything is nicely packed together, which leads me to believe this is a perfect a gift for someone that is into retro gaming and probably someone that you would like to uh, get on the Raspberry Pi of things because the case included in this set is multi-purpose. So inside the kit you'll find the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig, which is uh, quite rare to be honest because most of the kits uh, they don't actually include the board itself. There's also pre-flashed 64 gig card, very nice of them to include the bigger capacity card, and two controllers, cables, power supply with an extra button to enable and disable the console when needed, and that's pretty much it. Oh, I nearly forgot, and this lovely USB Type-C and USB Type-A reader. Honestly, it's more portable and it's gonna be in my wallet now. So let's take a look at this kit in a closer detail. The case itself, it's multi-purpose. It's not a gaming case and I think it's a good choice because if it was a gaming case, it would end up in your drawer sitting there once the nostalgia trip was over. This way you can repurpose this case for different projects. And this particular case comes with active and passive cooling because heatsinks are included. There is a 30mm active fan that links to 5 volt rail and 3.3 volt rail for quieter operation. There is a slot for camera, just note the camera isn't included. And the case itself it's made from a really nice uh, plastic shell. Now there's also quarter inch uh, tripod adapter in case you want to pop it on a stand as well. Since this is a gaming kit, let's talk about the controller itself. Now the controller feels quite decent actually, and if you like PlayStation Dual Shock design, you'll find yourself at home with a similar layout. Now the buttons don't feel mushy at all, the analogs could use a couple of hours of breaking in, but after a couple of hours of playing you should find yourself uh, comfortable using these and they should not put up any resistance. Now, the controller doesn't come with any rumble and there is no analog pads, that you just have a shoulder digital buttons and uh, we are limited to a cable, which is a shame because I would love to see a Bluetooth option so you could sit comfortably at the sofa and control your games. The kit contains everything you need and the included instruction is sufficient to build everything within 20 minutes and start gaming. Now, I've not used a RetroArch before, however if you do you're obviously gonna know how it works. It took me a couple of moments to actually start to figure out how to download the games, select emulators and start playing with the games. Now this isn't a labist's fault, however the RetroArch itself will require a lot of time and patience to get some of the games set up. It was my first time using a RetroArch, so I was pleasantly surprised. There is no hiding, it takes its inspirations from the PlayStation menu, but all menus are intuitive, it's easy to find options, and overall it provides really good experience, especially on Raspberry Pi for now, which supports 4K. To make your experience even better, I have a couple of beginner's tips for you. First, go to options and set up different layout for the buttons. If you use the PlayStation layout with X and circle being uh, accept and cancel, those are reversed by default in here and you can swap them in the menu. Second of all, select the start button to be escape or uh, a main menu, uh, return to main menu from the option as this is going to be the easiest way to return from the game 
to the main RetroArch menu. Then in Services, enable SMB, so you would be able to share the folders and enable drag and dropping files from the computers containing your games and the additional emulators. Now onto the games. The Raspberry Pi 4 is strong enough to support plenty of different emulators and run different games, whether it's a side-scroller or games containing 3D graphics. Well, the hardware part of the kit is great, software bit, well, it's RetroArch, and be prepared to spend some time actually tinkering and troubleshooting the games. Sometimes you will have to change some settings, apply correct emulation for correct game, and, well, spend a lot of time looking for the games on the internet. While there are some games included, probably your favorite games, you'll have to scour the internet to find them, uh, because they can't be included on the device like this for copyright reasons. I'll be honest with you guys, I won't be probably playing much retro games myself. Uh, I can see myself using gamepads to control a robot or uh, take advantage of this case in the camera in AI camera project because you can use the camera mounted on the stand and try a couple of things. And I think this is the purpose of this kit. While a kit designed for gaming in particular probably would end up in the bottom of a drawer after some time, uh, a kit like this can be taken later apart and repurposed for something else and if you want to get the party started with some retro gaming you can always put the old SD card in and enjoy local multiplayer. So if you're interested in the description of this video you're gonna find a link to this kit and additional discount code from Labist which was kind enough to send this set to me. So before I finish guys do let me know what was your favorite game from your childhood and did that game age well? Because I often find out that my favorite games, uh, they just don't have the same appeal. All right, as usual, guys, I do not have a posting schedule. So if you want to keep in touch, social media is your base choice. You know how to use YouTube and you'll find the relevant links on the screen and in the description of this video. As for now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.